Hey guys, another video from myself. Uh, first of 2020. I'd uh, just like to uh, wish everybody again a happy new year. I uh, hope you all had a good time over the festive period. And uh, yeah, I had a little time off myself over the Christmas week especially. I uh, was working over the new year one. But uh, yeah, this is what I managed to squeeze out in the past few weeks. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased the way they've turned out as well. These are the Perez Metal. Uh, British foot artillery from the obviously Napoleonic range. Uh, yeah, so we've got two two nine pounders and a five point five howitzer at the end there on the right hand side. Uh, so yeah, really nice. I really enjoyed painting these when I bought them. I bought them because I really needed British artillery. But then I wasn't that keen on painting them, but once I got the paint started, I really enjoyed doing these guys actually. It's maybe something to do with the blue and the yellow. I don't like mixing together these colours, maybe. But yeah, they've turned out. I think they've turned out really well. So, yeah, this is the guys firing the, firing the gun. Uh, again, when you look at the figures on the, the website, they don't look... Well, I mean, they are good figures, but they don't look anything spectacular. But yeah, once in your hand and the paint on and everything, they, they really are nice indeed. So yeah, that's that first one, that's the one firing. Yeah, better left me a better look at this. This is the guys getting ready to load it up. Yeah, a couple of guys in shirt order as well. It's quite unusual. And the fatigue caps. The guy passing around to the other guy. Yeah. So yeah, as I say, really enjoyable. And I'm quite amazed, I think it was one Kettenham. <laughs> It was on about uh, the bases, the large bases warping and that. And luckily enough, I mean the last artillery pieces I did, the French ones, same size of bases, and they did actually warp at the ends and the corners. Now these, I don't know why, uh, but they seem to have escaped the warping scenario, so I'm quite pleased about that as well. And this is a howitzer, guys. As you see, nice. I tell you, this is a really nice thing. It's another guy's at Norman Swale or something, I think, does the artillery pieces. Very nice indeed. Uh, again, that's another thing I really didn't look forward to painting in the past was the guns. But no, I find them quite straightforward. I think it's because using washes and dry brushes uh, really speeds up the process and yeah, you can knock them out quite quickly. Once you get them cleaned up and primed, yeah. So no problems there. And yeah, I say that's a really nice one as well. You see that guy, he just fit, stands right in beside the gun. Yeah, and just give you a look, you can see that the figures have just got the, uh, yeah, half of the ra it was a ramming rod, or whatever you call it, uh, is actually missing because it's supposed to be down the barrel. So yeah, the other hand's on top of the, the gun there. Really nice sculpt. Nice idea. So yeah, got that guys done there. So that that's what I've got done. <coughs> excuse me, guys. Uh, just recently, uh, before Christmas, I did order up the Perry's new plastic French infantry box set. Well, in fact, I did the uh, the deal. If you if you buy three boxes direct, you you get a free uh, metal figure as well. Which I'll just pull him out snow. Yeah, a very nice figure indeed. He has him here. Now this is a French infantry colonel that you get free when you purchase three or more boxes of the, the plastic new plastic French infantry set from the Paris. So yeah, looking forward to painting up this guy. Very nice indeed. So nice free figure that one. All in one piece casting. I really do like that when the Paris do them, especially the cavalry figures, the all in one. I just think it's a lot easier to paint as well. I really like that idea. Yeah, I know a lot of guys prefer the rider separate, but no, if they if they did all the metal cavalry like this, I'd be quite happy. I really like that. So that's that figure there. Yeah, yeah. As I say, I'll just pan the camera around. So this is what I'm working on at the moment. I've just prepped up some of these, as I said, French infantry plastic guys. Uh, just trying out a few things. So I've got four. 
You see the four on the front with the sharp ones, they're going to be painted as vaulty gears. And the four at the back, I've got them in the bear skins. Sorry, the camera moving, guys. Yeah, so I've got these guys in the bear skins. Paint them as grenadiers. So these are just sort of test figures. Probably just going to paint them as standard French uh, uh, blues, white. Uh, blue jackets, white trousers and that uh, possibly stick these guys on eBay because I've got an abundance of <coughs> excuse me again elite company figures, I pro probably wouldn't need them all so first of all most, these guys are test figures uh, behind them as well you'll see, I bought these before Christmas as well they are just being primed up, very dark it's the two latest sets of the French command figures that Paris put out uh, Marshals and uh, cavalry commanders. You see, just in the end here, LaSalle. Very nice indeed. I think four out of the six were all one piece castings again. Uh, I think the, uh, or was it two out of four or six, whatever. But yeah, nice. Very nice again, as it see. You can't really see much at the moment, they're just black. Uh, but yeah, we'll get we'll get going with them. Uh, the other thing, I was I was watching, I'll just pan back there, don't worry, guys. I was watching a video just oh, days ago. Garvin Booth was showing some figures off. Uh, 80mm AB figures. Italian, French, eh, Italian, only on it, fighting for the French. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been looking through some books and the plastic box sets of the French, I think I'm going to do two units of Italians. Uh, and that, 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 this guy's real, I'll pick him up again. Yeah, the, the freebie colonel. Uh, yeah, and, and probably paint him up as a colonel for them as well. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking at it. I, I've always fancied doing the Italians. I remember having a couple of units of Italians in 15mm old days, uh, 15mm uh, minifigs it was. Yeah, I had some uh, guard grenadiers and, and a line of the regiment. Yeah, that was about it. But yeah, I've always fancied doing some Italians, so... That's, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, it might be a while off. Let me get through this other guys. But I'll, I'll get there. And, of course, I'll, I'll post an update uh, when we get that far. So, move that guy away again. So, again, guys, so that, that's what I've got done. Three guns from a British Napoleonic Army. Uh, foot artillery. So, down the line somewhere, I will add horse artillery as well. Limber and that. So, yeah, plenty to get on with. Plenty of naps. Uh, I've sort of neglecting my American Civil War at the moment, but I will get back into that as well. Probably next time, probably add some of the cavalry or dismounted cavalry or something like that. So, yeah. More to come. Plenty to come this year, guys, hopefully. Uh, a lot more videos as well. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. Watching all your videos. Click on the like button. Right, take care. Bye-bye now.